Now what she's gonna do is she's actually gonna come in with her custom pink mix and fill that hole. She drains out the monomer so that it's dry. And then that way when she actually sets it on top of that hole, it doesn't run into it. She's making sure that she's using a dry enough pearl that way it actually plugs it and creates the perfect platform for her to actually start doing reverse application. She's gonna go inside, she's gonna get a nice pearl, preferably about a little bit bigger than half size of the nail plate. She's gonna dab off all the excess and set it to the center of her nail. Notice how she's using the tip of the brush to press it flush to the cuticle area. Notice how she also has the finger pointed down towards the towel, letting gravity do its work. And what I mean by that, all of the product is running down towards the most important area, the stress area. She's using the tip of the brush to balance from side to side, again, keeping the finger pointed down towards the tip. This will allow the product to do its job, self-level into the perfect place. She's also going to use the side of the brush to shape the perfect V. Now, because she has perfect balance, the product is not gonna be rolling all over the place. She's gonna have perfect control of her brush. She's gonna make sure the product is not running onto the skin. And she's going to use the side of the brush to actually put in the perfect V. Notice the balance. Notice the control perfection. Okay, notice that Christy's actually going in with a little bit more pink and she's going to add it to an area where she thinks it's too thin. Don't be afraid to add product to an area where you think needs more product. This way, when you file, you don't file away your strength. Okay, this is a cool trick she actually did that surprised me. She actually takes the file and presses it right up to the V before it dries. You know, that way you don't have to wait till it dries and file into shape. The product was spongy enough for her to come in and just press it so that you have the perfectly shaped V at the edge. Okay, once she's actually done pressing in that very front edge of her nail straight, she's going to take a combination of colors, rainbow black, neon rose, fuchsia with speed clear mix, shock and rock star mix, and a little bit of raspberry mylar. Notice how she's just dabbing it on the towel, so it's gonna be really easy for her to pick up. Okay, she's gonna go in and grab a small pearl of rainbow black, and actually she's gonna set that right up to that V smile. Notice how she's just using the tip of the brush to push it right up against the edge. Again, good balance is going to make sure the product is going to sit in place. Now, the next step is really important. It's going to be a little marbleizing technique. 
She's gonna make sure she takes the neon rose and a little bit of the fuchsia speed clear mix and set it wet. Don't be afraid of the run because what you're going to do again is set it in place and juggle it again just into the shape of the stiletto edge. Notice how she's actually bringing the product up, connecting it to the black, wiping her brush, and again, marbleizing it into a random mix. Notice how her lower arch is dead straight and comes perfectly to the point. She's gonna drain her brush, wipe it, come in, get another pearl, and use the Shock and Rockstar mix to overlay the base. She's using the body of her brush to push it into shape and feather it over the foundation layer.